Being healthy for me is taking care of myself. Getting up in the morning, taking care of my, my family, making sure that they too are well. Preparing food for them that I know would be good for them. Um, going, having activities. My children growing up were never uh, sit in front of the TV, play video games. I tell them, go out, come home from school, get homework done, and then they're out the door riding their bikes, you know, playing hide and seek. Um, I made sure when they were growing up, they participated in sports at school. And so I've, I've tried very hard to instill in them the importance of leading a healthy lifestyle with eating right and exercising. Well, I was living in San Diego. I, I attended college in San Diego. And I had always wanted to come back if I started a family. Well, after um, I got married and my husband and I, uh, our second child was born, I wanted them to experience things that I did not experience living on Guam. One of the things I think was just going to a zoo. I had ne I've never seen an elephant. I've never seen a giraffe. And the first time that I had seen a giraffe, I mean, I sat there for a good 15 minutes and just was amazed at the spots on the giraffe's neck. And so those little things, you know, I wanted my children to experience these things firsthand. And um, I guess bringing them over here to have a more diverse and um, more things to experience rather than, you know, living on the island. Being that Guam is a very small island, there's not very much really that, that there is to offer as far as, you know, um, diversity, I guess, a diversity in experiences. A lot of people are scared going in for physical, that they met something show up and most uh, a lot of them really are just scared going in for physical. I mean, I noticed that. And uh, since I had my prostate operation, I've talked to a lot of my friends. When they go in for their physical, make sure that they have that PSA, you know, so they can check the blood count so they know whether they have cancer, prostate cancer, or another cancer. But a lot of people are just fear of going seeing the doctors, really. And I'm, most of my friends that I've met and talked to, I try to encourage them to really go have your physical, annual physical every year. Something wrong with you, just go in. Because an early detection can really save your life. Every Every survivor need to hear, and not even the survivor, but other women need to hear that anybody that did not have a mammogram or a pap smear, for that matter, on a yearly basis, they can develop this disease that had happened to me. So I would like to to share, them, to share my story and let them know that education and awareness of being well and trying to figure out whether a mammogram or, or self-examination are, are the tools that you need to do in order for you to survive this disease. And secondly, because I'm, a, I'm part of this education in my life that as a teacher, as a former teacher, and I'm always teaching, this is my life. I need to educate my people to understand that in, in this society, for example, and in a, in a very vast majority of, of what we do here, there's fast food all over our places. We need to learn and understand and be educated that nutrition 
is very important in surviving. So it is for this purpose that my entire life is teaching and educating and making people aware that cancer is a disease that could be prevented if you only take the time to be educated and to be acknowledged. To be a Chamorro is almost indescribable. I love being a Chamorro. I love my people. I'm getting a little emotional. I love who I am. I never want to forget who I am. It's for this reason that I want to pass this on to my children and my grandchildren as well. And I have. I have been doing this. I constantly remind my children never to forget who they are. 